Hey guys, come to my Stardew Valley uh, Preserves Jar and Keg tutorial. So let's get right into it. Basically, all you need to know is that the keg multiplies fruit by um, 3 and vegetables by 2.25. Preserves Jar multiplies everything by 2 and adds 50 to it. Uh, so basically, what the math turns out to is you want to put every fruit that's worth below 50 into the preserves jar and every vegetable that is worth below 200 into the preserves jar instead of the keg. Um, I have all of the prices that you get for putting them in either the preserves jar or the keg here uh, with the best ones on each side. It's worth keeping in mind that row produces age row which has a unique value where it just doubles the value of the original row and hops, wheat, coffee, and tea will make uh, different drinks in the keg however you will get more money from tea if you just make uh, put the tea, leg, tea leaves in the preserve jar next we have the most valuable fruit trees of each season oh, all of them, but I have the most uh, valued in each season in yellow over here. Bananas for the summer, pomegranates for the fall, cherries for the spring. Bananas and mangoes have the best value because you get them for free in uh, 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 Ginger Island. And then down here I have the best fish ponds for aged row. Lava eels have the most expensive aged row. But sturgeons make caviar instead of aged row, which also gets you a lot of money and you need to complete the game as well as the missing bundle. And that's about it. As you can see, it gets pretty drastically low after the first few top fish. But yeah, screenshot this if you would like. I'll just scroll down real quick. Alright, that's about it. See ya.